There's no better way to explore the high seas and coastal towns than on a cruise ship. In fact, the first ship to officially be classified as such was the Princession Victoria Louise, a German passenger liner introduced as far back as 1900. Fast forward to 2023 and multiple luxury liners ferry guests across some of the most pristine waters and to the most glamorous ports across the world. But if there's one ship that stands out from the rest, with its luxury interiors, excellent service, and glamorous destinations on offer, it's the Regent Seven Seas Splendor. This cruise ship was built in 2020 as a successor to the other Regent liners, such as the Seven Seas Explorer. With the tagline, Luxury Perfected, it's a staggering 735 feet long and weighs over 55,000 tons. It has a capacity for 750 guests at a time, spread over multiple cabins, suites, and 10 decks. The ship's grand atrium is at a crossroads of all these suites and decks, featuring rare artworks, a gorgeous chandelier, and a signature restaurant. Interestingly, the Seven Seas Splendor is the first new cruise ship to be captained by a woman, the 30-year veteran captain Serena Milani. On its 1774 shore excursions, the Seven Seas Splendor travels through major ports in Denmark, Norway, Portugal, Greece, Italy, the US, Brazil, and the UK. Its current route in July 2023 is a 12-day voyage from Copenhagen in Denmark to Southampton in the UK, touching down in Norway, Sweden, Scotland, and Ireland. Accommodating over 700 guests, the Seven Seas Splendor has a total of 375 cabins, all of which categorized as suites. The layout span from 300 square feet to over 4,000 square feet and feature furnished private balconies. The smallest veranda suites come with luxury bedding, lavish bath products, a flat screen TV, and a bottle of celebratory champagne. Shell out a bit more and you'll find yourself in the extravagant master suite, which greets you with a rich color palette, fine fabrics, and your own grand piano. With two spacious bedrooms, a large living room, a wraparound balcony, and your own personal butler, you'll get a taste of why this ship bills itself as luxury perfected. Meanwhile, at the Regent Suite, you'll be treated to over 4,000 square feet of immaculate craftsmanship. Located on the top floor of the ship, the private balconies at this suite offer the most spectacular ocean views. At the end of the day, all suites come equipped with the luxuries you'd expect from a cruise of this stature. 24-7 service, fully stocked mini fridges, and welcome gifts. The cruise has eight dining and drink options, each with its own charm and cuisine. At Chartreuse, expect to sample classic French fare with a modern twist in an elegant dining room reminiscent of a chic fine dining restaurant along the champs Elysees. For a premium selection of seafood and succulent meat dishes, head down to Compass Rose, the largest dining room on this liner. For elevated American cuisine, in the form of a filet mignon and a New York strip, make your way to the Prime 7 Diner. Alternately, you could enjoy the best Pan-Asian delights at Pacific Rim or classic Italian fare in a sophisticated setting at Set Mari at La Veranda. If you're more in the mood to dine outdoors with an ocean for company, make your way down to the La Veranda for a breakfast buffet or the pool grill for a variety of alfresco options. Top off your meal European style with an espresso at Coffee Connection and you'll be sure to go back to your room satisfied and ready for the evening entertainment. Evening entertainment at the Seven Seas Splendor comes in the form of several shows that cater to every taste. The Bohemian Soul Musical explores an eclectic range of music, featuring hits from Frank Sinatra and Lady Gaga. Meanwhile, the Lullabies of Broadway pays tribute to some of the most iconic musicals from New York's theater district. Apart from the theater, there are various lounges and clubs where you can enjoy a special karaoke night or simply sit back with a specialized cocktail and cigar. 
And then there's the casino, a sprawling room where you can challenge your friends or make your fortune at the poker table or in a blackjack game. In the daytime, guests are invited to take part in a number of activities courtesy the ship's luxury amenities. From a golf net to a paddle tennis court, it's a given that sports enthusiasts won't struggle to find something to do. But if relaxing by the pool is more to your speed, you can also make your way down to the ship's two options. The Infinity Edge Pool Plunge offers dramatic views from the vessel's stern, while the pool deck is the ultimate place to unwind with a refreshing drink. The pool deck also features two whirlpools and numerous lounge chairs from where you can take in the view or enjoy a light snack. If you haven't booked the Regent Suite, in which case you'd be enjoying your personal spa, you can make your way back to the ship's luxury serene spa and wellness center, where guests can indulge in a number of restorative treatments. All ingredients and natural oils are sourced from around the world. The ship also has a state-of-the-art fitness center to keep you on your feet. Apart from a number of strength machines, spinning bikes, and treadmills, the fitness center also hosts yoga, pilates, and aerobics classes. The massive ship also has its own jogging track, where you can maintain your regular walking and running routine with a magnificent view of the ocean below. To make things even better, it's an all-inclusive cruise ship, barring a few additional amenities such as any purchase from the boutique store and the spa. So there really isn't any reason not to give everything a go.